Right, so my, for those of you who don't know me, my name is uh, Jeff Smithers. Um, I'm from the University of KwaZulu-Natal in South Africa. Um, I'm currently the Secretary General of the pan african Society for Agriculture Engineers. And on behalf of PASAI, I'd like to wish you a very warm welcome to all our distinguished guests, as well as our speakers. Um, we also have PASAI Council members and members who are joining us this morning, as well as other attendees. A very warm welcome to all of you. We thank you for spending the time with us um, and in sharing this launch of this, of this report. For those of you who are not familiar with the pan african Society for Agricultural Engineers, our mission is to promote and advance the profession of agricultural engineering in Africa. And we do this by striving to be a key knowledge partner, a visible policy advocate on the role of engineering and technology in the transformation and industrialization of, of agriculture in Africa. And what we're trying to do is we want to contribute towards the Agenda 2063 aims, the Africa we want. And we seek your support and collaboration on this journey with us. Just to give you some background to the report, I thought it might be useful just to paint that picture. I think we're all very aware of the many challenges that are facing Africa in terms of its growing population, the age distribution with a large contingent of uh, younger age people um, coming through that distribution. This all leads to increased demand for food, to food water, energy, and security um, in order to feed the growing population. I think one of the challenges that we are aware of is the generally low productivity in terms of agricultural terms in, in Africa. We have high post-harvest losses and all of this results in food insecurity um, within the continent. At the same time, we have variable and generally quite low water resources in some part of the, of the continent. Um, and this leads to competition for water um, between, in, between industry and agricultural production and this leads to water insecurity. At the same time, um, given the economic conditions in many of the rural areas, there's rapid urbanization taking place, looking for a better life, and that's certainly having an, having an impact on agricultural production. At the same time, we're also aware that many of our agricultural practices are not very environmentally friendly and are not sustainable in the long term. At the same time, we're also working in a system that has a large infrastructural deficit that needs to be um, addressed. And what we really need um, is the appropriate use of technology in agricultural production, harvesting, logistics, and processing systems. And yeah, I'm gonna be talking about what agricultural engineering is about, um, but you see I put an asterisk there. I'm talking about really any engineering or any discipline that applies technology. Um, so not only agricultural engineering. And if we look at those three circles there, we have agricultural production, harvesting, and processing, we have land and the environment, and we have engineering and technology. And really where those intersect, that's where agricultural engineers work. So these are engineers who connect the living world of plants, soil, water, and animals with the technology of engineering, so whether with systems, structures, and machines. And these engineers provide technology for food and agricultural production, harvesting, logistics, and processing systems. At the same time, doing this in a sustainable way, and I guess in many cases, hopefully regenerating the environment um, using in the practices that they are adopting. So that's really what we're looking for. And that's what we the focus of a lot of the work that we are doing um, in PASAI. Just to give you then a background to this report and where it comes from, uh, the report's title, Agricultural Engineering in Africa, a key driver for transforming agriculture to deliver food security and to support economic prosperity. So really the intention here was to raise the profile and to demonstrate the capabilities of agricultural engineering um, and how they can be used to address some of the problems I've just mentioned. We really want to raise public awareness, agricultural engineering, I think internationally is a small discipline relative to other engineering disciplines. And very often um, the general public governments, institutions, um, private sector, are very unaware of the skills that agricultural engineers possess and what roles they could play in addressing these problems. So we wanted to provide some information for the industry, governments and funding agencies to showcase um, what, and what, this, what an exciting career this could be and this entice new entrance to the profession. 
We want to influence key people and institutions, make them aware of the role that these engineers can play. And that was really the reason for the compilation um, and the proposal to document agricultural engineering and how it can be used for economic development in Africa. Having a look at the, the product that has been produced, I think we've certainly met all of those outcomes, plus a lot more. I think there are very direct links to the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals and the Agenda 2063 uh, aims. So those are very clearly articulated within the document. And I think something which we weren't expecting, but I think is really good, is that we've also got a call to action with 25 recommendations of what needs to be done in order to make this, this plan active and to have impact on the ground. I think you're all aware, and some of you probably done, downloaded this report, so it's available from this, this, this website. Um, and as of this morning, we'd had 115 of copies have been downloaded. So we will be making a, a, a limited number of, of printed copies available, um, and we will be distributing those to key institutions um, in, the, in the coming months. But the electronic copy is available from that website. Before we really start proceeding, proceedings, I'd just like to make some acknowledgements. And I think the first acknowledgement is to the Royal Academy of Engineers um, in the UK for supporting a project which was titled Growing Agricultural Engineering in Africa, supporting the operations and implementation of the, the strategic plan for afro AGENG. afro AGENG is the acronym that we quite often use for the Pan-African Society for Agricultural Eng Engineers. I'd just like to acknowledge the, the project team um, coming from a different, number of different institutions. Um, so we had representatives from the South African Institute of Agricultural Engineers, um, we had Mr. Taylor from the Institute of Agriculture Engineering in the UK, and we had, we had Dr. Jonathan Cooper and Edmund Moshatisi from Harper Adams University in the UK. So that made up the, the project team, and Professor Paro and myself were also part of that project team. We worked very, very closely with the Pasai Council, and I've listed those there, Professor Paro, myself, Professor Paparodi, Professor Batali, Professor Bobovi. Uh, Dr. Pinkele, and then also Professor Noble Bernardo. And on that note, um, I'd just like to um, report that the society is dedicating this report and call to action to the memory of Professor Noble Bernardo, um, who unfortunately was passed away in July 2021 this year as a result of the COVID pandemic. Um, he was a professor of biosystems engineering at Makarene University in Uganda. And we hope that his passing as a result of the COVID pandemic acts as a reminder of the terrible fragility of the world we inhabit. And that his legacy, along with all those who have lost their lives to the pandemic, will be revitalized in coffee engineering profession across Africa. So I just wanted to note that up front, we are dedicating this report to Professor Noble Bernada, but I know some of these speakers who follow me um, will also be commenting on that. Right, this was the um, schedule that was distributed. Um, so we're going to have an overview of the report, which is going to be done by Mr. Alistair Taylor, who is the report coordinator and chief author of the report. We're then going to have statements from various organizations, from the Royal Academy of Engineering, from the International Commission of, of, on Agricultural and Biosystems Engineering, from the South African Institute of Agricultural Engineers, from the Food and Agricultural Organization, and then from the Alliance for Modernizing African Agri-Food Systems, which is an initiative of the American Society of Agricultural and Biological Engineers. Um, two additions that we've added to the schedule this morning is a, a comment from the African Development Bank, as well as the African Export Import Bank. We will then have the launch of the Growing Agricultural Engineering in Africa project by Professor Adipala, and then we'll have some closing remarks from Professor Linus Oparo.